in a lot of ways, music might be one of the most meaningful things because out of all the forms of art, it can hit you immediately. And in a way, it's a form of, it's almost hypnotic, you know, it takes you into an altered frame of mind, it changes your, your state of consciousness. And to be able to, to, be able to bring other people into, into an altered state like that is a, is a fantastic thing. Everything about it is, is continuously interesting to me and, and continuously kind of seductive on, on various levels. I really feel like it's something that I have to do. No, it's not really a matter of, of choice, it's more kind of a matter of, of vocation. If I was to paint a painting or, or to try and write something, it's exactly the same kind of energy going into it. The kind of starting point can be a few different things. It can be, it can be an idea or a, a particular sound in my head that I want to recreate. It's, um, sometimes it's a bit disappointing. Uh, the, that writer Arthur Macken, he said once that um, he he dreamt in fire, but he wrote in clay. It was you know it was always so much more vibrant in his own in his own mind. And sometimes that is the case. But most of the time, it's it's really just, I suppose, experimentation. Rock bands get together and they just jam, and eventually they the parts of a song just emerge from it and really much the same thing happens with electronic music or or any other kind When it comes to, to playing live, the, the audience consideration is, is, is kind of a constant thing because I'm, despite what some people might, might think, I have no interest in, in upsetting people. I, I, I very much like challenging music myself, but I'm not particularly interested in uh, playing things for people that they're not going to enjoy it. I, I don't really see the point of that. I'm, I, know of, I know of people who do that. and. Um, it's confrontational, but it, it strikes me as, as, as quite a as quite a kind of boring thing to do. Most of the time now when I play live it's it's almost always with other people. And usually in other people's projects where other people have done the songs and, and get me to do things on them. And uh, that's great, that relieves a lot of pressure in, in some ways. I've, I have done solo gigs, but there, you know, there's a lot that goes into that. I'm not, I don't find it as enjoyable um, as, as working with, with other people live. Uh, collaborating and being able, to, um, being able to spend that time and be creative with other people is something that it, you can't really do so much in a lot of other, a lot of other forms. I do solo music really just to do things for myself when I'm not working on other people's things and that's great because I'm really not too bothered at all about what people think about my solo stuff it's done entirely for me it is really music for myself to listen to a lot of musicians don't listen to their own music at all a lot, and a lot of musicians I know won't listen to their own music but I actually make it mostly for myself the biggest motivator for my own music is to do music that I want to hear that I can't quite find. Mm -hmm. 